open it until we get some wood. No, dude. I have I once again myself. fallen victim to ginger <laughs> discrimination. <laughs> it is go. Open. A few days ago, I was called in my professor's office for being a little too liberal with my absences. I was told by my ginger-hating bigot of a professor that she was very concerned with my attendance and that she would be grilling me on Thursday about class materials, so be prepared. I then noticed that my fellow classmate of non-ginger descent had missed just as many classes as I, but had received no request for an out-of-class meeting and was not going to be the target of an in-class discussion. When I first put together the piece of this cruel injustice, <laughs> it was difficult to breathe. After centuries of fighting for fairness and equality for all races, gender discrimination is still condoned and accepted. Gingers do not have souls or any, or any skin pigment. And if a ginger touches you, you should flush the infection. The right to excessive absences is fundamental in our Constitution and should be protected with utmost diligence regardless of race. I am considered to skip a class tomorrow as an act of civil disobedience in honor of, in honor of God. If you are ginger or supportive of ginger's rights, feel free to skip class tomorrow in observation of ginger's rights and protest of ginger discrimination. Hashtag I have a dream. JFK. You should flush the infected area immediately with peroxide. 